Greetings, dear viewers, and welcome to some more Planet Side 2 free-to-play. Alright, so, a few videos have come out. We've got a few hours worth of gameplay under our belts at this point, and we have 1,120 certification points. It's time to begin spending those. I'm gonna tap Escape, and you, when you hit Escape, you're probably gonna come to either this screen or the map screen. Just down at the bottom, you can click on Classes, and you can see all of your classes and how to upgrade them and all the little areas to upgrade them in and stuff like that. Okay. So, with 1,120 certification points, we can actually do quite a bit to significantly upgrade each of our classes. Now, the case is for most players that you're going to want to specialize. What I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be spending a few certs in each class, except for max, because I don't really do max stuff. But, um, for the most part, I'm going to be spending some certs in each class so that everything gets a little bit better, because I do like to switch around on the battlefield. So this will just increase my effectiveness uh, overall. But it is the case that most players should probably specialize. That is to say, find a class or two that you really like, or a vehicle or two that you really like, and spend certifications uh, in those. So that you can get those to be as effective as possible for your style of play. But because I am doing a YouTube series, and I'm trying to cover the basics and trying to cover a broad range of uh, player interests, uh, I think it's better if I spread out my certification points so that people can see how different things affect different classes. Now, as things get more expensive, I'm going to almost be forced to specialize because I can't put a ton of certs spread out among all these classes. You just can't. Uh, you don't get enough certification points to um, put certs in everything. Not in a short amount of time. Now, on my main account, I do have basically every certification that I want. So eventually you can get all of these fully maxed out if you want to. All of these. Just put the time in, get better at the game, play, do really well. And yeah, you can earn enough certification points to eventually max out everything in the game. So you can earn enough to do everything, to, or to upgrade everything, technically speaking. But practically speaking, most likely you're going to want to specialize. And as I continue this series and things get more expensive to upgrade, I'm going to have to begin specializing. But we're not at that point yet. Right now, I'm going to upgrade each of my classes so that uh, each of the classes that I play, which is five of these, uh, I'm going to upgrade each of these just a little bit. And so let's see uh, how that plays out. Right, glad I got that explained. Okay, so let's, let's get started. First off, um, we're going to start off with the Infiltrator. One of the things that I want to do, actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pull back here and go to an equipment terminal, right down here, and let's load up Infiltrator. Now you don't have to load up the class to upgrade, but I'm going to. So this sniper rifle, if I've got this trained on somebody, uh, and I take a shot, I can't take another shot without coming out of the scope. I have to rescope to take my shot. Okay, so to load another round in the chamber, I have to come out of the scope. Not ideal. You want to be able to take multiple shots with your sniper rifle while still aim down, the, while still aiming down sights, while still looking through the scope, so that your first shot can serve as a tracer, and then you can probably hit your mark on the second or third shot. So that's what you want to do. So what I'm going to do for the infiltrator class is I'm going to actually upgrade my NC-14 bolt driver, the default sniper rifle that comes with this class. I'm going to hit change attachments. And we've got some scopes. So we're not going to worry about scopes right now. We've got a barrel suppressor attachment. You don't really need this. And we've got a rail attachment. And the rail attachment I want is the straight pull bolt. The straight pull bolt allows the sniper to chamber another round while aiming down sights. I'm going to hit unlock. We can see here it costs either 75 daybreak cash or I th I don't know how what I don't know how that transfers uh, I don't know how that translates to real money. I thought it was like a a hundred equals a dollar, so that would be like seventy five cents for this. But I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I don't know how it all transfers. Anyway, it's either seventy five daybreak cash, and I think the sixty seven is if you're a member. So if you're a member, it costs even less. But of course, you're also paying for membership. But of course, you also get a ton of benefits for membership. Anyway, <laughs> please excuse me if you hear any sniffles or throat clearing or anything. Again, my sinuses are um, are acting up. So anyway, or it costs 100 certs. So I'm going to hit unlock. 
and you get this window saying it gives you a description of what it is. It says you can either buy it with uh, Daybreak Cash, and it says you could save eight Daybreak Cash if you are a member. So you could upgrade to a member from here, uh, from here, and you can unlock and all kinds of stuff. But we're going to buy with cert points, which is down here. Items purchased with cert points can only be equipable, or sorry, can only be equipped on this character. Okay, fine. We're going to hit unlock. Congratulations, you have unlocked Straight Pull Bolt. All right, close it. Now, it moves over here to the left because it's what I have available, and it's already selected and equipped for my gun. If I ever want to take it off, I just click it, and I don't have to rebuy it to re-equip it. See, there we go. All right, so now we've got the Straight Pull Bolt. I'm going to hit resupply. Now, I can scope down, or I can aim through the scope, take a shot, chamber, 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 See, we're good until we're until we're out of ammo. In which case, we have to reload and pop uh, another cartridge or magazine or clip, whatever you want to call it, into the sniper rifle. Okay, so that right there is a significant upgrade. That should help out sniping quite a bit. So that's 100 certification points that we have just spent on our uh, infiltrator. All right, now let's look at the light assault class. Click light assault. I definitely want some upgrades here. So the AF-19 Mercenary happens to be one of my favorite guns in this game. I really like this gun, and it's perfectly fine exactly as is. I like it just like this, but of course it could use some upgrades. So I'm going to select Optic, and I'm going to select my preferred Optic for most weapons, the Techlight Reflex 1X. This only costs 5 certification points. It's basically free. <laughs> so I'm going to hit Unlock, and Unlock again. And we now have the scope, and it's already equipped, or the uh, Optic, and it's already equipped. So barrel attachments, you don't need barrel attachments for the AF-19 Mercenary. Maybe you might consider um, the suppressor. Might help you get around in towers, but we're not going to worry about that for right now. I'm going to hit rail, and for the rail attachment, I want to unlock the laser sight. So I'm going to hit unlock, and unlock here. This will increase the weapon's accuracy when firing from the hip. That is already unlocked, so now let's hit equip now. And now my gun has the laser sight. should be on by default, but again, you can turn off the laser sight. Uh, with whatever hotkey you have set for that. Look in your key bindings to figure that out. Mine is L. I changed it to L. Um, so there's that. And look at this ni nice tight little cone of fire for the AF-19 uh, mercenary. Really good close range weapon. Good damage. Very easy to control. This guy's taking shots at me. He thinks I want to get into his uh, Valkyrie. I'm going to make it clear that I don't by running in. Okay, so there's that. See? That's pretty cool. This is nice. This is, this is a good gun. And we've got aiming down sights for medium range and this weapon also has a very nice semi-auto mode semi-auto fire mode from whenever you want that extra little bit of accuracy for medium to long ranges it's just a very well-rounded weapon uh, weapon that excels in uh, close to medium range very good light assault gun and we just got some upgrades for it um, I think that's all we really need for this gun we don't really need a cam or anything like that alright so we've got that, that set up but we also want more upgrades for our light assault I want to upgrade my jump jets. Currently at jump jets 1 allows the user to reach heights much further than normal jumps and we can see that the uh, jump jets allow me to fly up a bit but the fuel drains pretty quick. You can see the fuel over on the lower right above my ammo right over here. See that? Fuel drains pretty quick so if we get an upgrade for the jump jets uh, increases fuel capacity and regeneration speed by a total of 12%. That's a 12% boost for only 10 certification points. Well worth getting this upgrade if you play Light Assault. Gonna hit upgrade. You are about to purchase Jump Jets 2. Are you sure? Yes. Alright, we now have Jump Jets 2. Now we can upgrade again to Jump Jets 3, which increases fuel capacity and regeneration speed by a total of 24%. That's 12% more than the level 1 upgrade. So it's a total of 24%, not 24% on top of the 12 that you've already got, it's 24% total, okay? And that only costs 50 certification points. So we can upgrade our jump jets even further, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit upgrade and hit accept. Okay, now the certification starts to get a little bit more expensive. It costs 100 certs to get jump jets 4. We're going to leave this as is for right now. It would be another 12% if we did do that, and then 12% more, and then 12% more. Uh, so basically we have a few more 12% to go uh, to completely load this thing up. But anyway, we have jump jets 3. And that's what I want. We've got more fuel in it now. Now we can see the fuel drains a lot slower. I can go higher. I can go further. I can do more with my jump jets now. And they don't. it doesn't take any longer for it to refuel while you're uh, grounded because the regeneration also increases by the same amount that you gained fuel. Okay. So our light assault has gotten pretty fairly well upgraded. 
And now one thing that we're going to do, we're going to skip we're going to skip combat medic for a second and we're going to jump over to engineer. Click. Cool thing about this is we've upgraded our light assaults AF19 mercenary, but that's the same gun for this character that the engineer uses. It's the same AF19 mercenary. So, I can equip an optic here, a tech light reflex. It's the same gun. I've already unlocked the tech light reflex and we're going to click on our laser sight as well. So now we can see our engineer can also get the benefit of wielding our AF-19 mercenary with the upgrades. We don't have to pay for them again. This is the same AF-19 mercenary. So Light Assault and Engineer were both upgraded by my upgrading the AF-19 mercenary. Isn't that cool? Other than that, we're not going to... Oh, actually, we do. We do want to do some stuff with Engineer. We want to upgrade our Nano Armor Kit. Uh, if we upgrade this, it increases the repair speed of the Armor Kit by 6.5%. And also increases the overheat threshold to 11 seconds. So it overheats slower. Uh, right? Yeah, it overheats slower and it repairs faster. Okay? So I'm going to actually upgrade this. Bam. All right? And then we can upgrade to Nano Armor Kit 3, which increases its speed by 13% and the overheat threshold to 11.5 seconds. Okay? Accept. And we can also go for another 50, I feel, to further increase the effectiveness of the Nano Armor Kit and accept. Okay. So we are now on Nano Armor Kit 4, which does a great job at repairing things. This is going to be fantastic for whenever I'm flying my Reaver around. It'll help me repair my Reaver that much more quickly. 150 certs is a little bit too much for the next upgrade. We're going to leave that alone for now. All right, let's jump back up to Combat Medic. And we do want to get some upgrades for our combat medic here. Um, primarily, I want to upgrade the nano regen device. It only takes one certification point to get nano regen device 2, which increases the nano regen device's recharge rate by 9%. And if you're not familiar with what the uh, regen device is, it's the F ability on the keyboard uh, down here that heals you and all nearby allies. See that target right there? He's healing up, and everybody around me would also be healing while I use that. And you can toggle that on and off. And as you can see, it quickly drained and now it's recharging. So what I want to do is I want to select the ability slot. I want to upgrade this because now it's going to recharge 9% faster. Upgrade, bam. And I'm going to upgrade it again, bam. All right, so we're going to leave it on we're going to leave it on a regen device 3 for right now. It recharges 25% faster than it did before. That's really good. That means we're going to be able to use it more often on the battlefield, be able to heal more, get some more certifications by healing those around us, and it'll help us stay alive longer because, again, it heals us as well. All right, now let's click on Heavy Assault. Heavy Assault is a class that I do like to play quite frequently, so it is something that we're going to be investing some certification points in. All right, well, if you watched my LMG video, the beginner tutorial, the beginner guide on how to use the starting default primary weapons for all three factions, you probably know what I'm going to get for this class. Uh, we're going to pick up the... 1x reflex sight. This one right here. Again, only five certification points for this gun. We're going to unlock that. Unlock. Bam. Okay, we've unlocked that, and it's automatically equipped. Uh, we are going to pick up the compensator attachment so that the gun is more easily controlled. We're going to unlock the compensator. Bam. There we go. So now that's already equipped. And I think I will go as far as to equip high velocity ammunition. We're going to hit unlock, unlock. Bam. There we go. So now the gun deals more damage and it um, is more easy to control and it's easier to get shots off on distant targets. This is essentially how you want your NC6 Gauss Saw to be for quite some time. Okay, so our heavy has been significantly upgraded, but we're not done there. There is another slot that I want for my heavy. In the utility slot, there is a medical kit that I can purchase. It grants access to a consumable, consumable med medical kit that can be used to instantly restore the user's health. All right, so I'm gonna click unlock. Bam. Uh, you are about to purchase Medical Kit 1. Are you sure? Yes. All right. So this gives me one Medical Kit on my Heavy Assault class. Uh, this Medical Kit will let me heal myself instantly in combat. Let's go ahead and hit Equip now. Okay. Now you can see on the right, in the number 4 slot, there's a Medical Kit there. Now at any time if I'm hurt in combat and I'm behind cover, I can hit 4, and this will restore my hit points. Of course, I only get one before I have to uh, re reload these at an equipment terminal. So I have to come to Resupply. You can see right here, it's at zero of one. If you go to resupply, it will resupply it, and I have another one available to me. If I continue to upgrade the medical kit, it will give me more uses before I have to um, reload them at a terminal. So if I were to upgrade again, 
it increases the number of medical kits that can be carried to two. I'm only going to keep one on me for right now. It's just nice to have it. This is a really good upgrade uh, for our heavy assault class. Now let me check the ability uh, screen. We're not going to worry about the ability screen for right now because I don't know. It's been a while since I looked at the map between Nanite Mesh Generator and Resist Shield. Uh, and Adrenaline Shield. Yeah, I, these three have all kinds of different math behind them. I don't know which is the one you want to upgrade right now, so I'm not even going to touch it at this point. I need to do some more research. It's difficult to find accurate information on modern-day Planet Side 2 because there's a lot of outdated information out there. So I have to sift through a lot of whatever's out there, or maybe even do some personal tests to find out which of these is the best to upgrade. So we're going to leave that alone for right now, but that is something you're probably going to want to upgrade, or you're definitely going to want to upgrade at some point. All right, so we've got upgrades for every one of our classes now. Um, we've got our Nano Armor Kit 4 for Engineer. We, we are left with 499 certification points. Uh, I'm a little curious to see what I can unlock for my Reaver now. That's, let's go take a look at my Reaver, because I do fly a Reaver quite a bit. Let's see what I can unlock for the Reaver. Oh, there we go. Now, they did add some new types of fuel tanks, but I can't afford any of them. They're 875 for anything that gets equipped in the wing mount uh, the wing mount. Ah, utility stuff is affordable though. Fire suppression is of course very useful. Defense, let's see. Some of this stuff is uh, usable as well, or upgradable. Oh, sorry, performance, performance, performance. Dog fighting, hover stability, racer, high speed, airframe. Alright, so all of these do something different. Dog fighting improves roll, turn, and agility. Hover stability improves hover, air brake, and vertical thrust. And racer improves cruising and afterburner speed. So these are all different airframes that you can equip on your Reaver. I have all of them, and I think all of them fully certed on my uh, main account. But I'm not sure which of these I would actually want to use for this account starting out. I'm thinking hover stability or dog fighting. Well, it's going to be one of these two. Well, actually, I don't know. Racer high speed is actually pretty good for showing new players. Uh, how to do hit and runs because you do want to be able to do hit and runs with your reaver. Um, I don't think I'll be engaging too much in air to air with my reaver to start. What I think I think what I really want is uh, breaker rockets or coyote missiles first. So I could just save these. I could just hang on to these certification points for now, uh, and then just leave it as is. But I really want to get some upgrades for my for my reaver. The M20 Mustang is a really good weapon. We can just leave it as is. I'm not sure where I want to put these next 499 points, but I do think some of it should go to my Reaver. So, let's see. Fire Suppression 1. Okay, that's obviously a good one. Activate to repair 6% of the vehicle over 5 seconds. If the vehicle is on fire when activated, it can also immediately extinguish the fire. It can be activated once every 60 seconds. Okay. That's only 30 certification points. I'm going to pick up Fire Suppression 1. Boom. Boom. It's beautiful. Fire suppression one is great because it lets you heal your reaver. It lets you put out fires so you don't get taken out due to damage over time uh, if you do catch fire. Of course, if you catch fire after using this in the next 60 seconds, then you, that can still happen. But um, for the most part, you can heal yourself. You can repair, repair yourself for 6% and put out fires. And then we can upgrade this again to repair even more of the vehicle, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm not going to hit that right now. Fire suppression one is fine. Now, defensively, I do like Nanite Auto Repair. Nanites constantly repair damage over time at a rate of 5% every 5 seconds. Damage disables auto repair for 12 seconds. This is a really good passive certification to put into your Reaver or to your ESF. I'm going to unlock it. Let me hit accept. There we go. Now my Reaver will be able to repair itself over time. I won't have to land and repair as much, or it'll make it more easy for me to actually do that whenever I do get out of combat. So it's just a really good repair system. It's just a really good system to have on uh, on your Reaver. So we've got that selected. Uh, as for performance, I think we will do Racer High Speed Airframe so that we can get in and out of fights really quickly. I think a lot of what we're going to be doing for the most part here is doing hit and run stuff early on. So I'll pick up the Racer High Speed Airframe for right now. There we go. That'll speed up my Reaver's cruising uh, and afterburner speed. So that'll help me get into fights, get my damage done, and get out of fights. Okay, so we've got that all set up. Now we've got 319 certification points left. Uh, of all these, I think Fire Suppression 1, or Fire Suppression 2 might be the most useful, so I'm going to hit that to spend 100 certification points on Fire Suppression 2. Repairs 12% of the vehicle over 5 seconds. That is much more manageable than just 6%. And now we've got 
uh, 200 certification points left, we can upgrade uh, Nanite Auto Repair, which gives us a little bit more hit points every second, uh, which can be also very good. We're going to leave it alone for now. And let's see if there's anything else that we can make sure we, those are all equipped, right? Okay, those are all equipped. All right, so our Reaver is a little bit better. All of our classes are a little bit better. And with this remaining 219 certification points, there is one thing that I wanted to look at for... Oh, good, I can get them for my Infiltrator. We can also pick up Bouncing Bettys. Now, for the Infiltrator class, these are extremely useful. They are anti-personnel mines. You drop them on the ground, Enemies come by, boom, you score a kill. Extremely useful. I'm glad there are only 200 certification points because we can afford them. I'll hit unlock and hit accept. All right, so now our infiltrator class has access to bouncing baddies. We'll go ahead and load up the infiltrator now. Now I can put, I can hit four on the keyboard and bring up the bouncing betty. And you want to leave these in pretty discreet little places like... Oh, okay, I guess you can't do that in the warp gate. <laughs> but you can leave them like in doorways and uh, they'll sit there and wait for enemies to step on them resupply. Alright, so we're good. That will do it for this particular video. We just spent some certification points. That's all we did. I just wanted to show you folks us doing that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and let this be a video on its own so that I can get to recording a full-fledged session with these certification points spent. If you folks have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And let me know what you folks think so that I can be informed on what to uh, cover in future videos. All right, that will do it for this one. Thanks a lot for viewing, dear viewers, or thanks a lot for watching, dear viewers, and I will see you folks next time.